you saw the grain mill being built. Now witness says how it turns this into this. Greensofmachines.com So as I mentioned in the last video, I bought 50 pounds of rye berries, but they took 45 minutes to an hour to cook, longer than brown rice even. That was the main inspiration for building this grain mill. Now in the beginning, there were several awkward attempts to attempt testing the grain mill before I had it bolted to a secure base. I successfully broke that piece of wood that I was trying to clamp it to the desk with. Things got a lot easier once the base was completed. I like the sound of that. Oh, look at that. Squash. What do you say, squash? Squashy approves. So now all the grains are all crispity and crackety. And they fall apart very easily now. So they will cook much faster. Yeah, a lot faster than before. Oh yeah, that's so much better. Like it's so much faster to chew it. It tastes a lot more toasty and rich. It's basically oatmeal, but more rich and rye tasting. The only thing I gotta look out for now is making sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the pot and burn because I had that problem a little bit. Might be a good idea to just boil the water first and then pour it in. In addition to rye, I also tested the grain mill with hard red wheat berries and also oat groats, mainly because I ran out of rye right as I completed the grain mill. I also experimented with soaking the rye berries before grinding them. I heard this would make them easier to mill, but I really didn't notice that much of a difference. It's not really feeling any easier. I did notice, however, that they didn't fall apart when crushing them. They just got flattened. But it seems like an unnecessary step that I won't attempt later on. Now there's some grain worthy of the squashy persimmon topping. Pizza Machines.com